Hi guys, what's up? I am super excited for this video because finally all of my makeup is in one place. For the last four months I've been without my entire makeup collection and so I am super excited that I am here now back in Utah with all of my makeup. So I decided that I would film a makeup collection video for you. I think that it's fun to kind of see inside of everybody's makeup collections because it gives you a little bit more insight into their taste because you can see what they have been buying. If you guys didn't know, my name is Regan. I would love if you joined my small family here on YouTube, so make sure to press that subscribe button. Okay guys, first I wanted to show you what I keep my makeup in. It is this suitcase carrier, and when you open it up, These, these slide out and it has all these different compartments. I usually try to keep them organized by category. So like all my concealers are together, all my blushes are together, but sometimes it gets really messy. And then in the front here it has some drawers. In this drawer is palettes. And then in the drawer beneath it is lip products. The reason that I kept all my makeup in a suitcase is because I was going to college the last two years away from home and I was just traveling a lot with all of my makeup. I was doing a lot of event makeup at the time that I bought that and so it was just easier to pack all of my makeup around in one suitcase. So when I found that on Amazon I absolutely loved it and so I bought it and it's been great for me. Now I think that I've outgrown it a little bit just because my collection is bigger. It doesn't hold all of my stuff and so either I need to declutter, which I probably should, or I need to pick somewhere else to hold all my makeup. I'm kind of in an in-between stage right now because I am going to be getting an apartment soon with my boyfriend and so I don't want to really settle here in my mom's place and unpack everything and so I'm kind of living in craziness but I thought that this would still be fun to film so I'm just going to get started I don't think that anything's really going to be in a particular order so it might be a little all over the place and I also am going to try not to talk about a lot of the products because there are so many and I don't want this video to be like three hours long first I'm going to get started with my liquid eyeshadows I have quite a bit. I really like the formulas of liquid eyeshadows. So I have two of the Too Faced liquid eyeshadows. One is in the shade Strawberries and Champagne and the other is in Honey Please. Honey Please is more like a gold and the Strawberries and Champagne is more of like a rose gold. I also have a lot of the Stila liquid shadows. These were the first ones I used and I really liked them. So I got these mini ones in a set and the ones that I have are in, it's hard to find where all the names are on these products, but these four that I have, I have Smoky Storm, Kitten Karma, Diamond Dust, and Plum On. So I think that the Kitten Karma and Smoky Storm are more neutrals and then I know that the Plum On is the purple and the Diamond Dust is just like a regular silver glitter. I also have some of the full size liquid eyeshadows from them and I know they have a lot of different lines and collections in these but I'm just going to tell you guys the shades that I have them in. So I have this one that's into the blue and I would say it's like a multi-chrome, it's like a purple bluish green. And then I have another one of those that is the Sea Siren and it is like a pink purple blue. I have Grace which is like a pink and Kitten which is just like another neutral. In that same compartment I also have these Bare Mineral Single Shadows. I have one in BFF which is just like a shimmery neutral transition color and then I have another one in Queen Tiffany and this is like a dark nude almost a purple 
and I really like both of these. They are they're loose powder shadows and they're really easy to travel with and they're very versatile shades. Next I have in that same compartment the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just the original one. Right below that compartment I have the Essence 2-in-1 Eyeshadow and Liner that is waterproof and this is in the shade Light Me Up. It's like a super super light nude and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I love this to put under my eyeshadow because it really just brightens the eyes and makes them look really big, especially if I'm doing makeup on somebody else that has smaller eyelids and really wants a bold eyeshadow look, I'll use this. I also have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Oyster. It's like a pastel purple and this is like an eyeshadow pencil that sharpens. I have the Sugar Rush Sparkler Shadow Stick in bronze. Honestly, I completely forgot that I had this, but I seriously love it. It's so pigmented. And then I have two of these Kohl eyeliners from Avon. They're really thick. So they're more like an eye crayon, I would say, not an eyeliner. And so I use them for like eyeshadows, kind of blended into an eyeliner look, really like smoky eyes. And I have two shades. I have one in brown black and I have one in brown. Next in my brow compartment, I have three different brow products. I have a Benefit Gimme Brow in a number one. This is like a tester, like a small, probably like gift with purchase or something. I didn't purchase this and I honestly don't use it that much. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in Taupe. I just got this and I love it so much so far. I seriously don't think I've ever used a brow product from Anastasia that is not blowing me away. So love that. And then I have the LA Colors Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. This I got from the Dollar Tree. It's in my Dollar Tree makeup tag video. Okay, in the compartments below that, one half is blushes. So I have the NARS Orgasm. It's like a mini, it was like a birthday gift thing from Ulta or something. But I honestly love it so much. When I saw that it was a birthday gift, I was like, oh, perfect, because I want this, but I don't want to buy it. And it's just a mini, but seriously, it's lasted me so long. So I'm so glad that I got this. I also have my Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blurred Buff. I have talked about this recently in my YouTube Made Me Buy It video. Next, I have the, the Catrice Blush Box in Glistening Pink. And lastly, I have the LA Colors Single Blush in Spice. So the first primer I have in here is the Estee Lauder The Mattifier Primer. This is like the second one I think I've bought. I really like this. It's just like a really good go-to primer that I know will always work. I also have the Lancome Blur and Go Stick. I got this in an Ulta haul video that I posted a while ago and I honestly haven't used it very much. I need to start using it though. Next, I have two foundations in that compartment along with the primers. This one is the Laura Geller New York Quench in Tint in Medium. This is also a really good go-to foundation that I use. I've been using this for like over a year now, I want to say. And then I have the LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation, also from the Dollar Tree Makeup Haul. The next compartment is concealers. So first I have the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't remember what this is called. It was also in my YouTube Made Me Buy It video, but I didn't remember what it was called then. But it is like a under eye concealer color corrector type thing. So I keep that with my concealers. And then I have four different concealers. The first one is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape, of course. And this is in the shade 22N Light Neutral. I have the LA Colors Concealer in Nude. I have the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer in the shade 215 Natural Beige. And then I have the Liquid Camouflage Catrice Cosmetics High Coverage Concealer in 15 Honey. 
The next compartment I have some powders. First I have the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation in the shade 10 Medium. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Banana. This is the mini size of this product and it's still 0.27 ounces and this full size Bare Minerals is 0.28 ounces. So I feel like if I got the full size of this Fenty Beauty powder it would just be like way too much and I'd never go through it. So I'm glad that I ended up just ordering the mini. And then I have also the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder in the original shade. We have the Tarte Shape Tape Powder Foundation in the shade Medium Sand. It's the number 335. I really just use this like as to blot or touch up because it has this little like sponge thing in the bottom and it's easy to carry around in your purse or when you're on the go just for like touching up your foundation. So that's mainly what I use this for. Next Next, I have the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I actually just hit pan on this. I've had it for a while and I really like it. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Berry Adore. You have seen this also a lot on my channel. I use all three shades a lot. I'm actually wearing this peach shade today in the compartment. Next to those I keep my eyeliners and I have a lot more eyeliners than I thought I did and so I maybe need to go through some of these. But I have this Hard Candy Fake Me Out liner in the shade Wild Child. It's like this turquoise blue color and I actually really like this. It's just super fun. Maybe I got this for Halloween, but now I'm starting to use it in like more day-to-day -day makeup looks. I also have a eye drama liquid eyeliner. It's like this gold liquid eyeliner. And this is also super fun to add to my everyday makeup. I don't know where I got this. I want to say it was Halloween makeup too. Is that bad? Maybe I should upgrade. Maybe I should find something like this that's better quality, but this works for me and I have it, so I might as well use it. The only other liquid eyeliner I have is this Milani Stay Put Matte Liner in Black Matte. I'm just barely starting to get into liquid liners like this, and I'm actually starting to really like it. This one's been really easy because it has a rubber applicator instead of like a brush, and it's super easy to work on the face. First, I feel like I'm going to go through the eyeliners that I don't use as much. So this is the e.l.f. Brightening Eyeliner in Coffee a couple years ago. I was really into brown eyeliners and so I picked this one up. I picked this up at the drugstore just because it was super easy and I actually used it for a while. So I haven't used it in a minute but I could pull this one back out. I also have this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. I got the 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil. I really wear eyeliner mainly in my waterline and so this one works a lot better for me than this one. But as you can see, this one's the waterline and this one's the normal. And so I've used this one a lot more. It's because I didn't even know they had the waterline one for a long time and I was just using this one. So that's why I have both of these and the waterline one is in the shade Legend. I really like both of them. They're very deep blacks and so I really like that about them. I also have the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in black brown. And then I have these two eyeliners, they're the same. Bonnie Bell Eyeliner in Espresso Brown. So I don't know why I have two of these, but they're twist up eyeliners. And then I also have a Mary Kay Eyeliner in Bronze. I actually love this eyeliner. I kind of forgot about it until just barely, but this one is seriously the best formula. It's so creamy, easy to apply, and I love the color of this. So I feel like now if I were to go and use a brown eyeliner, I would reach for this one just because I like it more than the e.l.f. one. 
I also have an Essence Cajal Pencil in white. I also use this when I want to brighten my eyes up. I used to do this a lot more, but it really does work. And then I have the Tarte Man Eater Liquid Eyeliner. This is like a felt tip liquid eyeliner. I have this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter in the shade Cloud. I just recently got this and I love it a lot. I think I'm more intrigued with the formula and the consistency of this product than the actual product, but it's super fun. So this was like $3 too. So you can't go wrong. I also have the KKW Beauty contour and highlighter sticks in there. They're both in the shade medium. These are the first like actual contour, like cream contour products that I got. I don't reach for them as much as I thought that I would. I feel like I like the look of bronzer a lot better than a harsh contour with a cream, but I'm still playing around with them and they are really nice. Then I have a loose powder from LA Colors that is in the shade Light Medium and a bronzer from Becca that is in Sunset Waves. I use this one a lot. It has started to hit pan over here. It's very dark and defined. So I usually use like these kind of products to contour instead of like a cream contour that's like a normal contour product. Next up is the mascara compartment and I have quite a bit more mascara than I thought as well. I have some minis so I have the LA Colors mascara and then the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara in black. I actually really like this mascara. I've never tried a full size of it. I think that this came in like a a little kit by Clinique. I ran out of mascara one day and I was had just not had time to get a new one yet and so I started using this one and I actually love it. So this has actually lasted me a really long time. I also use this on top of mascaras that are kind of getting older, that are too clumpy. It really just evens out mascaras and I'm actually a really big fan of this. So maybe I should pick up a full size but I do keep it with my other mascaras. Then I have a Lorac Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. I don't even remember using it. So it either was really bad or I just used it once and I don't really remember. Next I have another primer that is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This one's super awesome. I really like this. I also got this in the Ulta haul. This one's kind of silly, but it's also fun, and it's like a glitter mascara, and it's called Lash Tinsel Glitter Mascara from Hard Candy. This is in the shade Disco Ball. This is super fun to just put on top of your mascara. It has like this little wand that doesn't have, it's not like a brush, like it's not a normal wand. It's just kind of like a stick, and you just put it right on top of your black mascara, and it just makes it glittery, and it's super fun. So. I got this too a while ago, but I still think it's fun, so I've kept it all this time. And then next mascara is a new mascara for me. I just opened this this week, and it is the Bad Gal Bing by Benefit. So that is all of my products that fit in the compartments that butterfly out. And then there is a compartment underneath there that is bigger, just at the bottom, and that's where I keep all the products that don't fit in the small compartments. So this is where it gets kind of messy and it's not really organized. It's just like whatever doesn't fit anywhere else goes in there. Might be a little all over the place, but we will just get into it. I also keep a lot of products down there that have packaging that just is unreasonable. Okay, I'm just actually talking about this one product and I don't even know why I bought this because look at the packaging. This is just so unreasonable and who needs packaging like this? It is so hard to fit anywhere. It's heavy, it's huge, and I don't, I don't know. I obviously wasn't thinking. This goes down there because it's the only way that it fits. So it is the Stila Sheer Illumination Lingerie Souffle. This is a primer and seriously like, look at how big the actual product spot is and then how big this packaging is. 
I don't know. Okay, just I'm not ever going to buy products that have packaging that is this crazy ever again because even though it looks pretty and it looks cool, if it sat on a desk or something, that would be really cute. But as of now, I don't have a desk that I really do makeup at. So it's just kind of in the way. Next, I have the Liquid Veil 4-in-1 Spray Foundation by Pure. This is in the shade Medium and it's like an aerosol can. Literally, it's a spray foundation. This stuff is the coolest stuff ever. I was super intrigued by it just because of the product that it is and I loved it and ended up using it a lot. So super cool. Also down in that compartment I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade 2.5, no shade name. I've used like half of this. It, you can see like in the front there's only like product to right there. It's like a little pump. This is super full coverage and I haven't used it in a while, but if I wanted my makeup to stay for a long time or really full coverage, this is probably the first one I'd grab and it's also the first one that I'd recommend for super full coverage, long lasting foundation. The only other full coverage foundation that I have in my collection, I'm pretty sure, is the Makeup Revolution Seal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in F7. The coolest thing about this foundation is the applicator, I think, because it's like a giant concealer, and I really just like that. So, then I have the Becca Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector. When I bought this, Champagne Pop was like the huge thing and everybody wanted it and I couldn't find it anywhere and then I found this and I was like oh super excited so I got it and I just kind of hate how it's packaged because I don't feel like this product does well in this packaging. It's just hard because with one pump it you get way too much product for a highlighter unless you are using this under all of your makeup like as a primer and I don't do that that often and so I just feel like this is harder to use so I don't reach for it as much. That's also the same with the Do The Hula by Benefit. This is a bronzer and it's a pump as well. This I just feel like gets streaky putting it on and so I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a liquid bronzer. I think this is the only one I've seen. It's for sure the only one I've used and I don't love it. It is the same. Sometimes I will add this to foundation. Sometimes I try to use it as a bronzer. Like I use a brush to put it on as a bronzer and then I use a powder bronzer on top of it to like even it out more. But it's also a product I don't reach for that often. Next, this is super cool. I actually love this product. So it is the Too Faced Fresh Squeezed Sparkling Pina Colada Highlighting Drops. And so you sh have to shake it a lot. And then it just has this, like a droplet applicator. And this is super pretty. But this is super shimmery. It's like any kind of highlighting drops. You can add it to foundation. You can add, you can put it below your foundation. Or you can just put it on after as a highlighter. And I really, really like this. Sometimes when this product's laid on its side, it leaks a little bit. And so I don't travel with it much. So Next is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I've talked a lot about this before, so you know I love it. It was also in my one of my recent videos. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. This is amazing. I seriously think this is my new favorite foundation of all time. I have not been able to stop reaching for this. I want to use it every day. I even think about it at night before I go to bed. It's weird, but I'm like that. I just like to think about what products I'm going to use because I enjoy doing my makeup. But seriously, the more I use this, the more I love it. Next, I have the... I'm pretty sure this is Stila. I've had this and used this for so long that like the outside of the packaging, the words are rubbed off. But it is the Stay All Day Cover Foundation in Light 3. So it's a two-in-one. It's a foundation stick. And then on the top, it is a concealer. 
I definitely use the foundation stick way more than the concealer, but the foundation stick is literally almost gone. I'm like scraping it out. So this has been one of my go-tos for just easy makeup days. This is the Bare Minerals Crystalline Glow Bronzer and Highlight Palette. I reach for this a lot. I wouldn't say that this is a highlighter palette. This is like a blush to me, but it's a very shimmery, highlight-ish blush. But I really like it. I think the packaging is fun and pretty. I have the NYX Color Correcting Concealer in 04. This is like a color correcting palette. It has six different colors and these are supposed to be like concealers. I haven't really used these much just because it was like a big hyped up thing a while ago to have different colored correctors and I don't really know what each of the colors do. I know that they each have like a purpose like one of them's for dark circles, one of them's for acne, one of them's for brightening, one of them's for I don't know. There's a bunch of different uses and I don't use it that much. I think I can see I've used the pink and the green, maybe a little brown and a little bit of the yellow, but I'm glad that I bought this from NYX instead of a different brand because I'm sure this wasn't that much and I could figure out that I don't want to buy more of these products. This is my first contour palette that I ever got and this is so old but it's still so good and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour in Dolce de Leche. I know that they still have this, but as you can see, I've used the contour way more than the highlight or whatever this would be considered. I wouldn't consider this a highlight. I just don't find much use for this shade, but I do really like this shade. I just started using it again. I actually used it today as well, and I really liked it. It's just like it melts into the skin really well and looks super natural and so I'm actually a really big fan of this shade even though this is really old. So this is also kind of like a sentimental thing where I don't feel like I could get rid of this just because I remember getting this. I don't know if you guys feel like that ever. Next I have three of the Anastasia Glow Kits. I got these all on Black Friday deals. I have these from Ulta every Black Friday. And so I know I at least bought these twice. So I don't know if I bought one alone or if I bought each of them separately or if I bought two one time. I don't really know. But these are just something that is like iconic in the make makeup world. First sun dipped glow kit. This one I use the most just because it's so versatile it's so usable and it has highlight and bronzer shades in it so that's why i like it is because i like to just use one palette it's just like easier to use and this is really easy to also travel with because instead of having multiple products you just have all in one with bronzer and highlight so i really like this this is definitely the one i use the most Next, I use the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. This one is only highlight shades and they're like colorful highlight shades. This was like a big thing a while ago was like colored highlighters and I actually really like them. I use them the most when I have colorful, really big, bold eyeshadow looks and then I find a highlighter that matches my eyeshadow look well and then I feel like they really complement each other and bring together the whole look and so that's my favorite way to use these. I'm actually using the Regal one today but the one I use the most is the Arethral because it's the purple one and I just seem to reach for that one a lot. The Sugar Glow Kit is the one I reach for the least. I feel like I just I'm not drawn to this because there's not any dark shades in here or contour or bronzer shades and so I don't use this that often just because of that reason. I should start reaching for this more for highlighter but I just feel like I have a lot of highlighters and I always forget about it. Next in that big compartment in the bottom I have this Morphe palette. This Morphe palette's huge. So this has 35 shades in it and it's a huge palette. And it's really hard to get to when it's at the very bottom in my suitcase. So that's why I don't tend to reach for this that much. 
but I feel like if it was readily accessible to me, I would use it a lot more. I really love the shades in here. It's a lot of warm tones and those are the tones that I usually reach for the most. And I've really been getting into these like orange, amber shades a lot. Also, I just feel like they have so many versatile neutrals in this palette. Whenever I'm creating an eyeshadow palette and I can't find the perfect neutral, I always reach for this just because there's so many options and I can always find something that's working for the look that I want to create. So hopefully soon I can have a place like a designated makeup desk and I can use things like this more often. Next I have this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is amazing bronzer. It's perfect for the summer because it's like super light and it really just complements your tan really well. So I really love this. It's also really, it's, it gives you a really natural tan, really natural glow to your face. Super easy to put on. It doesn't look weird if you just throw some of this on with no other makeup just to warm your face up. I really love this product. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's crumbled into 9 million pieces and so it's literally just like loose powder now and every time I open it it gets everywhere and so that is what's all over all of my products because it seriously gets all over and so that's the only thing that like makes me not want to reach for this or else I feel like I'd use it way more. It also smells like sunscreen and I really love that about it. So this is like the perfect summer bronzer. It smells like summer, it looks like summer, and I love it. But it does get everywhere. So I'm not going to open it. I'm very sorry. Next up, I have a lot of highlighters here and other like face palettes, I guess. So first we'll start with the Becca blushed with light blush trio palette. I've obviously grabbed this a lot. These two shades are almost gone. I have just recently been getting into more fine blushes and so that's why this one's used way more than this one but I do still use both of these now and I really like this palette. It's like a it's one of my go-to palettes. If I don't know what to use, I always go for this. If I just need something fast and easy, it's all something I can always lean on. And it's also something I travel with as well. I have two products by LA Colors. One's a bronzer, one's a highlighter. The bronzer is Sun Goddess. The highlighter is Shine Bright. A little bit of these products go almost way too far, so definitely use way less than you would think. But that was very impressive for me to see, especially since these are from the Dollar Tree. Next, I have a Sugar Rush Fresh and Frosted palette. I love this highlight palette. I use it all the time. It's very pigmented, very shiny. It's gorgeous on the skin. It has like a silver, a gold, and a rose gold. So I really love how pigmented and bright these are on my face. And this has to be one of my favorite highlight palettes to reach for, especially since it has silver, gold, and rose gold. It has a shade for every look you're going for. Next, I have the Laura Geller Highlight High Def Glow Illuminator Duo Heart of Gold. I tend to use this more for eyeshadows than for highlighter. It's too yellowy and goldy. This is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter in Aura. This packaging broke just recently on my way home from Ohio. It's just the box, not the actual product. This one's super pretty too. It's lasted forever. I seriously don't know when that will ever run out. And then the Joseph Colors Bathe Highlighter. This is absolutely gorgeous probably the most gorgeous highlighter I've ever seen, ever. My favorite. It's also in not even 9 million pieces, it's in like 900 million little pieces because it just like, it's like a powder now. But I absolutely love this and I will always reach for this. We are now to the eyeshadow part of the video. It's taken a long time to get here. If you're here with me still, you are a real one. Thank you for making it this far. I'm sure that this is what most people want to see. I know that these videos are really big right now, so I am just going to get started. 
So, this is in no particular order, by the way, and I have a lot of random eyeshadow palettes. So, we'll just get to it, I guess. This one is from Hard Candy. This one is called Naturally Gorgeous, and it's like their top 10 eyeshadow collection. So this is cool because they took their most popular eyeshadows and put all 10 of them into one palette, and I really liked this. I got this. I thought the packaging was really cute when I got this. Obviously, times and styles have changed, but this is what it looks like. They're just little... They're very natural shades, very neutrals. I honestly don't use this very much anymore, and this is just not my favorite palette overall. I don't know why I still have this. I've had this for a long time. The thing I hate about it the most is if you don't have artificial nails on, like if you don't have really thick nails, you can't get the packaging open. I would always have to use like a bobby pin or something, which was annoying. The Kylie Jenner Pressed Powder Palette. I hate how these don't have names. I don't know what palette this is because it doesn't have a name on the packaging, which is really annoying. And I know that a lot of I've heard that from a lot of people about her palettes. She should put the name on them. So this is what it looks like. This has been one of my new, not new, but recent go to palettes. It's super pretty. It's falling down. It's super pretty and it has like a ton of pinks and I really love it. I tend I like really reach for shimmery pinks a lot so this is just the perfect palette for me. I love it a lot. Next I have Bare Mineral Nudes palette. This is a very neutral palette. This is my baby. This is the first high-end makeup eyeshadow palette that I got. I begged for this for Christmas. I was so excited when I got this. It's just like an original collectors makeup collectors item so this is just the original naked palette as you can see I've used a lot of the shades and hit pan on them I probably only used this palette for like a really long time but it will always be in my collection because I don't think I could get rid of it I also have the naked smoky palette this one's super pretty too. The packaging is different on this one. It's like hard, but this one's super pretty as well. I really, really, really love the lightest shade in this palette. It's called High, and it's super pretty, and I reach for that one the most by far. And then the Naked 3 palette. This one is like a super neutral palette, and it has a, a lot of transition shades. A lot of shimmers, a lot of pinks. It also really just like speaks to me and is one that I will always love. Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Smells like chocolate. I also reach for this one a lot. This one is pretty new or recent. I got this like within the last year. This is the Anastasia and Carly Bible collaboration. I love this palette. Seriously, the shadows and shades in this palette are just amazing. Like, I have nothing like this palette. Seriously, I've never seen something like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so unique, but at the same time, it's so wearable, and I really love it. It's something that pushed me to get out of my comfort zone more, and so it was like that stepping stone for me. I used this palette to create my whole eyeshadow look today, and I absolutely love it. It's really, really fun. I have two of the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palettes. These like, I think that these were called the Vault palettes. There was four of them and I just got two of them because the other ones I knew that I wouldn't reach for as much. This one is the Bling Boss one. It's like a purple focused one. This one is super fun. I actually reached for this one a lot. It made me fall in love with purples. I also reached for these shimmers, these pink shimmers quite often. That is like my signature eyeshadow is a shimmery pink and I really love it. This one is the Ring of the Alarm one. It's just more of like a full palette I would say. It has like the reds, oranges, and rusty, rustic looks. 
I use the most in these this one the bomb ass and lolly shades I use those together and they're super super pretty bare minerals bare sensuals this is a palette that I got and I didn't really use that much honestly and then I just since I got back from Ohio I was like going through everything and I found it again and I was just kind of like hmm I really love this and I want to start using it again so I'm kind of excited about this because there's a lot of like pinks purples shimmeries this is also one of my babies this is like one that's sentimental to the tartlet in bloom palette I have completely used the entire shade of funny girl I have tried to look to see if I can get it as a single shadow and you cannot anywhere I wish you could because I would buy it over and over again it is so good this was like the first palette that I bought on my own and that was like high-end and I really loved it so it will be one that I probably keep forever as well this one you saw recently on my channel it is the I Heart Revolution starry eyed palette it's like blues with some burnt shades some transitional shades this one's been super fun too I've used this a couple times now and I always like seem to reach for it. It's in the back of my mind always and I'm always like how could I incorporate this in a look. So this has become one of my favorites. The LA Colors Hot Palette. This one I'm in love with the shades and the color story in this. You also saw this on my channel as well as the NARS Suede Palette. I talked about this one a lot recently. And then I have this little, like, I don't know what you would call this. It is by Clinique, and it's like a little set. It has a mascara, and then it has these three eyeshadow color shades. I really like these shades. I don't really know if they go well that great together, but I do love each of them. I think they're very unique and super wearable. They have, there's not like a name for this little whole thing. But the shadow duo is Uptown Downtown, Uptown Downtown, and then the other one is Fig. Another product I got from Avon is this eyeshadow palette. This is the first eyeshadow I ever used ever, probably, and I still really like it. I, I haven't used this, okay, I haven't even looked at this in a while, to be honest, but the, when I was preparing for this video, I opened it up and I was like, oh, wow, this was actually a really good starting eyeshadow palette. So this is the Blushing Raisins Quad. It's super good. I also hit pan on one of these. I have I forgot about this because when I bought the I Heart Revolution Star Eyed Palette, because I didn't have blues, and then I remembered I had this one once I got home, and this is the All May. The back has rubbed off, so I don't know what color this is in. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow. I feel like the, like the bite-sized eyeshadows replaced these little things that they used to do. And this one's called Happy Hour. This one's super basic too and just really wearable shades. Super easy. This would be great to travel with. Then I have the Urban Decay Aphrodisiac. This one's super pretty too. I thought I would use this one more, like especially during travel, but... I just don't feel like the shadows work that well with each other but they do they are beautiful they just need to be mixed with other shadows and other palettes this color night fever is definitely my favorite and then I have this palette from Mary Kay and this palette is like um, create your own so if you like press you can press all of these out and you can just like make your own and so I just have a few shadows left in these ones. I have like a green and then a black, red, a purple, a neutral. This one's gone. And I, these ones are super interesting and like unique colors. But I do like these as well. Okay, guys. We are to the last category and it is lip products. This is like, I feel like this is the longest video ever. So I'm going to try to go really fast. But I have a lot here. This is like my junk drawer of makeup, really, because I never go through this. So there's a lot in here. I don't even know what really is in here. And 
so I'm just gonna get started I have the Victoria's Secret color shine gloss peekaboo this is a really good one to like keep in your purse or whatever beauty concepts lip gloss don't even know if it has a shade name beauty rush by Victoria's Secret lip gloss in hot coconut my favorite ever probably Mary Kay Lipstick in Pink Shimmer Reflect Rose. Also one of my favorite lipsticks ever, the perfect color. LA Colors Lipstick in Mauve Glaze. Buxom Lip Gloss in Dominique. I use this a lot. It goes on top of like anything. NYX Liquid Suede Metallic Matte in number 38. LA Colors, this is a black lipstick. I'm pretty sure this is also for Halloween. This is also a glitter lip crayon. Halloween, guys don't judge me. Lipalicious Tasty Lip Color Orange Kiss. Ultra number 1122 Co Bigelow Mentha Lip Shine. Ripe Raisin. This is a Clinique lipstick. Another Clinique in a different grape. Urban Decay 1993 Comfort Matte. I love the color of this, but I love even more the lip liner to this. Where is it? Right here is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil 1993. This lip pencil is so good. I use it literally for not even just with this lipstick, but I use it with a bunch of nude lipsticks and it's super easy to use. Stays in place. Very, very nice. NYX Butter Lipstick in Licorice. NYX Strictly Vinyl in number one. Don't know the color. Anastasia in lipstick, liquid lipstick in Veronica. Benefit Ultra Shines Wild Child. Another one of those Co Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Tints. This one's in a mint though. Don't know where I got those. Wet n Wild Light Beige Frost. This is by the same collection as this Smashbox Zlata. The collection is called Petal Metal. This square one is in the shade Always On and this one is in the shade Be Legendary. Glitter Gloss Victoria's Secret. Glossier BirthdayBomb.com. Smooch Lip Gloss by from Aeropostale. Wet n Wild Pink Ice, NARS Night Together, Victoria's Secret Pure Metal in Lights. Obviously, I like a lot of Victoria's Secret lip products. They're actually really good if you haven't tried them. NYX Pops Explosive. Don't really know. Baby Lips. Remember when baby lips were so big? So yeah, I have baby lips. Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss in Berry Flash. NARS Rapture. Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Call the Shots. This is like a red lipstick, true red lipstick. Um, this is also from Avon and it is in Uptown Punk Rose Happy. NYX Butter Lipstick in Candy Button Bonbons. Tarte Lippy Lingerie in Exposed. Becca Lush Lip Color Balm in Cherry Ganache. It's like a really dark lipstick. I forgot about that. Wet n Wild Dark Pink Frost. I might have two of those actually. And then I have like all of these um, that I got in a kit.
from High Shine Simple Pleasures lip glosses. There's a bunch of these around. Glazeware Intense. This is also from Avon. It's like a lip gloss. Super easy to carry around. Oh, I have another one of those in Mirage. Too Faced Melted Metallic in Pillow Talk. I have been using this a lot. Yeah. I've been using this one a lot lately with the 1993 Lip Liner. It's my favorite lip look right now. I really like it. Then the Melted Metallic Too Faced You Better Work. Wet n Wild Mega Slick Balm Stain in Pinky Promise. Urban Decay 66 in uh, Comfort Matte in number 66. This is my go-to. Will always be will always be my favorite lipstick ever. I've kind of used a lot of it and I'm getting really sad now that I think about it. This is like a limited edition color too, which makes me really sad because it is in the Born to Run edition, but maybe I could get online and see if they still have it, because I love it. This is what I'm wearing today, the Dose, the Dose of Colors Fressa. I have a Buxom, another Buxom in the shade Sandy. I love this a lot, it's like plumping. Benefit Ultra Shines Life on the A-List. This one is, this one's also from Avon, it's Twig, don't know, Butter Lipstick NYX Snow Cap, Elf 2-in-1 Conditioning Gloss, Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Flavored Gloss in Strawberry Fizz. I have all these EOS things, I have these things everywhere, I used to be obsessed with them and now I have so many that I don't know what to do with them. I also got them like for tons of gifts like when I was in middle school. Twisted Peppermint Lip Gloss. Peach Nectar Lip, lip Gloss. And then I have the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Trust Issues. And then I just have a couple more lip liners. So I have the... Estee Lauder Lip Defining Pencil in Spice. I have the NYX Glide On, Slide On, Stay On, and Definitely a Turn On. That's actually kind of a really cute name. Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner in Revamp. I have the Ramel London Lip Liner in Pink A Punch. And then the Tardiest lip liner in later grain. That is all. That is my entire makeup collection and this took way longer than I thought. It was a way harder process and I'm really tired now. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and had fun looking through all my makeup. I think it's fun to look through other people's makeup. I know I like to watch these videos on YouTube. I thought it would be fun to film one as well. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my Friday videos. And other than that, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye loves.